Well, 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 if it isn't our smart viewers tuning in to see our healer tier list for 915. Look, Shadowlands has been a wild ride for healers all expansion, and Season 2 has been pretty brutal. This patch has shaken things up a bit, and now with Covenant swapping available, we could see a wild finish to Season 2. Will Resto Druids reclaim their throne? Will Mistweaver Monks finally rise to glory? And will Seadu ever log off TBC? All of your questions will be answered in today's video as we look at the healer meta in patch 915. Let's start off with the best of the best by going over the gods of Season 2. It really should come as no surprise that Resto Druids are reclaiming their crown as the best healer in 915. Although the patch hit them with a minor nerf to Fleshcraft, it hardly matters, since in return, Keeper of the Grove now grants complete immunity during Tranquility. Yes, you heard that right, Resto Druids now have Bubble. Admittedly, they did need some help in RBGs since Disc Priests and Holy Paladins have been meta all expansion, but now with an immunity for Arena, Resto Druids have even more coverage options against the meta in both 2v2 and 3v3. This newly reworked talent is one of the best answers to Smoke Bomb, and even works well as a defensive cooldown to avoid death. In 3v3, Resto Druids have tons of options and can play with any comp in the game. Their strongest comp right now seems to be Ret Warrior, but that could change as buffs to Frost Mages and Warlocks might cause a growth in popularity of Wizard Cleaves. Regardless, whether you're looking for a healer in 2v2 or 3v3, you can't go wrong with Druid this patch. Moving down half a tier, we have Holy Priests, who barely missed the cut for S tier in 915. The battle between Disc and Holy has hit another turn, as Holy seems to be pulling ahead in the second half of Season 2. The patch gave Holy Priests some much needed buffs to their casted heals, which was by far their biggest weakness this season. One area they still struggle with is getting trained by melee cleaves, and due to the popularity of comps like Ret Warrior, Holy Priests are needing to run with the Divine Ascension talent, and the hard to pronounce Res Legendary just to stay alive. Holy works really well in any comp that requires coordinated CC setups, which is why it is the spec of choice right now in RMP. With Rogue Mage, Jungle Cleave, and Ret Warrior all fighting for dominance, most pro players seem to agree that Holy RMP might actually be the best. But even outside of 3v3, Holy is still performing really well in 2v2, where it pairs perfectly with sub rogues for landing coordinated CC setups. So if you're looking for another healer to pick up this season, Holy Priest might just be for you. Before we go on to our next tier, what do you think of our pick so far? Do you think Resto Druids and Holy Priests are shaping up to be the gods of 915? Let us know what you think in the comments below. Now it's time to enter the A tier, where we have two healers staying strong this season. Disc is falling slightly behind Holy this patch, but it really isn't that far off. While Holy offers additional CC options, Disc offers far more damage reduction. With Big Barrier and PS as strong damage reduction tools, Disc is able to keep its team aggressive all game, while Holy requires more hit and run. This is why you see Disc as the spec of choice in Jungle Cleave, because it is far better at keeping its team alive during long offensive pushes. And since Jungle is undoubtedly one of the strongest comps in the game, Disc Priests are well positioned in their role as a top tier healer in 915. Although they didn't really see many meaningful changes in the patch, the opportunity to freely swap covenants might help their popularity, because right now the best covenant is different between all three specs. You might be wondering if Disc RMP is still good, and the short answer is yes, but the longer answer is that Holy is probably better. In 2v2, Disc might not be the best healer, but it still has a few options, especially with Feral Druids and Hunters. And even though we covered it in our recent RBG tier list, Disc continues to be the best healer in the 10v10 format. And for all these reasons, we really think Disc deserves its place on the A tier this patch. Sharing its place with Discipline are Resto Shamans, and we promise we won't be making any Dwayne The Rock Johnson jokes this time around. In any case, Resto Shamans are looking really competitive this patch. Although they suffered a minor nerf to Fleshcraft, Covenant Swaps are offering some experimentation with other specs, as Kyrian and Nightfay might actually be viable options in late Season 2. They're still a really good cleave healer and have a lot of tools to keep their team aggressive while contributing to kills. Outside of cleaves though, they do really well with Shadow Priests, who offer them some much needed defensive coverage against meta comps like RMP and Jungle. In 2v2, they might not be the best, but they are still quite formidable and work really well with any of the top tier melee. So if you want to give your opponents the people's elbow and send them crying to rock bottom, consider picking up Arresto Shaman for the end of season 2. And speaking of the end of the season, time is ticking before you can get those sweet season 2 rewards, but fortunately, Skillcapped is here to help for all of your rating needs. 
Now for as low as $4.99 a month, you can get instant access to all of our premium videos, including our class courses and world famous arena commentaries where pro players take you step by step through your toughest matchups. Feeling unsure? We understand. And that's why we offer a money back guarantee if you don't see the results you were looking for. So don't delay. If you want the quickest path to improvement this season, check out skillcap.com slash wow. With only two healers left, you might have already predicted where the B tier is headed, but will anything be falling to see this patch? One spec that definitely is looking promising this season is Mistweaver Monk. Coming off huge buffs in 9.1 and some minor changes in 9.15, this might be the patch where Monk starts seeing more play. Let's make one thing clear, monks are not bad at all, and they might even belong on the A tier, but without much representation, it's hard putting them above B for now. Their strengths are that they are really good at putting out healing, and when allowed to free cast, they do some of the best healing in the game, but their strength is also their weakness, as they actually need to cast in order to heal. This really limits their comp options, as they need to either play with casters in order to soak interrupts, or they need to play with bulky melee who won't die in a single lockout. Their survivability is also a bit of a question mark, and although they can port while stunned, some comps don't even care and can continue the train even after the monk is ported away. With these glaring weaknesses, we don't see Monk climbing up to the top tiers for 915. And speaking of finishing last, Holy Paladins must be the nicest guys of Season 2. Someone at the WoW dev team must have had a change of heart, cause Paladins seemed impossibly good at the start of the expansion, but have since fallen to near extinction in recent months. Just like Monks, they really aren't bad, all things considered, but without any meaningful changes in the patch, they still have some glaring weaknesses holding them back. For one, their mana bar drains like grain through a goose, and they really struggle to heal in any form of dampening at low mana. In many ways, they are a slot machine healer, relying entirely on high rolling awakening procs at the right times in order to heal through damage. This has really forced them into playing with fire mages in 3v3, since they need the additional defensive carry that spammable CC provides. So without any huge changes this patch, holy paladins are staying on the B tier yet again. Overall, healer balance is actually pretty good. Resto druids are closer in line with the other top tier healers, and the B tier is still competitive even in tournament. Holy Priests saw the biggest move in this patch, and with key buffs to their biggest weakness, they are pulling slightly ahead in the finish of Season 2. If you watched our other tier list updates, you already know that 3v3 is controlled by a handful of comps, and in order to compete, you either need to join the club and play RMP, Jungle, or Ret Warrior, or you need to have some direct counters to at least one of those setups. Speaking of which, we will be giving you a complete update to the 3v3 tier list soon, so if you want to be the first to see our official release, be sure to subscribe. And if you really want to see improvement this patch, be sure to check out skillcap.com slash wow, where our team of pro players has been hard at work getting you up to date on all things 915. As always, thanks for watching, we hope you learned something. We love you healers, take care.